Capricorn. Happy November. I hope you're doing well. Okay, guys. Um, I know that most of you watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising, but I get emails, too, from uh, new watchers that, that don't know what those are. So um, now they do, right? So watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, the new viewers, the old, you know, my, my normal viewers, we know how that works, right? We, we know to do that if we choose, right? I'm not forcing you, but we are coming into some really, I shouldn't say we're coming in, we're in some pretty intense energy, okay? Um, and it's not going to let up in the very near future, okay? This can be a good thing though, okay? I'm just saying, I think that you may want to watch all of your, all of your sun, moon, and rising, okay? That's where I was going with that short version, okay? I already laid the cards out here. I will pull clarifiers if need be, but anyhow, all right, what we're doing here, Capricorn, is we're coming in with the energy of the Page of Wands, okay? That is, uh, don't turn down any creative ideas that you may come across right now. Um, you may have had something that uh, you thought was a crazy idea. No one would ever, you know, it wouldn't get off the ground. Now is the time where someone may approach you with that. Okay, so don't turn down any creative opportunities. Look for things. Expand yourself. That's what the energy of that is. This is energy to, uh, um, you know, just that whipping power line that just roaring, ready to go. You've got the energy for something new if it crosses your path. Okay. Um, This is also energy of uh, blunt honesty. This is the energy of, um, it's very emotional energy. It's very intense energy, be it in a good or a bad form. This is someone though too that um, it's an energy, but it's uh, an energy that's, there's impeccable social skills here. You know, the verbiage is, is good. The messages are going to be, you know, you're not going to misunderstand them. So if, if that's what this is, it's the energy that, you know, if there's a message coming towards you, um, you're not going to misunderstand it. It's going to be what it is. Okay. There we go. We'll go back to that though. Right underneath it, and I normally, in a, a reading here, I'm not going to pull two cards, but right underneath that, you've got... Uh, the four of wands okay that's the marriage card that's the strong structure foundation okay so it's coming in with the energy too you know strong foundations here too okay we'll go back to that though all right you come into november with the ten of cups crossed by the chariot okay two elements that play very nicely together okay very nice. Okay. What I'm going to say here is that, you know, given that the Ten of Cups shows up, you know, via the chariot, that's knowing where your true north is. Okay. That's knowing, you know, what's important to you. You know, it's, it's manifestation, but it's up here first and then it's forward movement. So this uh, just didn't come into play. Okay. So Coming into November, that's how it is, but you're on the where that you're you're aware that something within a relationship structure um, is, you know, somewhat getting an overhaul for a lack of a better way to speak. Okay, all right. In the past here, you've got the Five of Cups. Okay, that's the grief card, blessing in disguise card. Okay, something didn't turn out exactly how you wanted it to, but uh, the blessing in this is that you've got the Two Cups there. And we all know what that means, right? It's also sitting here, so it's a good thing, all right? I think what happens here, too, even though it is in the past, which is going to flush through here, I don't think you get hung up here. I don't think it's a place where it's like a shock or, or anything like that. I think you get, you you recognize it, you give it its due, and then you, you pass the grief part of it, okay? All right. Where you're anchored here is the Eight of Coins, okay? That's uh, prudence working really hard at something, you know, focusing on something, you know, long-term, uh, it's a grounded energy, okay? 
you're really working at something to the point where too it changes your perspective on a lot of things okay this card shows up to me to a lot of times where those are you know they don't need to be monetary okay it's something it's dignity those are stones of dignity okay so it's 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 what you're how you show up to things okay in a dignified manner okay which is the en energy of this okay 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 what crowns you're reading is the queen of wands okay our hostess with the mostest she's definitely fire energy okay We'll see why she's showing up here, if she's an actual person or an energy or, um, she's crowning your reading. She may be an actual person. She may be, uh, you know, just an energy of someone again, who is very grounded in who they are. They, uh, you know, are also, you know, they're, they're beautiful inside and out, okay, they're very grounded, they know where their true north is, they know their divine connection here, and through that, they know how to go through life in a dignified manner, okay, this is also someone who has got a lot of mitzvah, all right, they've got a lot of charisma, when they're in the room, you know they're in the room, okay, this could be an actual person, we'll see, okay, all right, what's coming up here? is the lover's card okay that card is about choice okay it's about vice and virtue it's about um needing to make a choice but a choice that's you know the better of two it's not an ideal choice you're not thrilled with you know the whole thing all around you didn't make this choice because it was you know the other choice you didn't want there you know it was you had you had to make one of the two and the lesser of two evils was what you made if that's a choice all right okay where we go here uh, through November how you see the situation here is the ten of coins so you've got the ten of cups and the ten of coins okay so there's endings and beginnings in here that's why I think that five of cups you're not dropping anchor there you're you, you're clearing away things. You may have even initiated that, okay? This is uh, the inheritance card. It's the long time coming card. It's, it's you know, family. It's lineage. It's, you know, if you're going through something, you know you've got, you know, financial backing from, you know, your family, friends, in your circle there. You've got, you know, emotional. Uh, anything tangible that you need, you've got in this card. Okay, it's also the handing of the sword. You know, you may be getting an inheritance, handing of the torch. I'm sorry, <laughs> you know, something like that. Okay, again, it's another ten. You've got two tens here. Okay, we have also one, two. All right, there's two majors here. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> in your home, your day to day. You've got the two of cups. Okay. This is the reading I know you all wait for. So I'm thrilled to be able to deliver it. I know you think that I'm, you know, kind of a boob when it comes to the, the lover's card because I know what that card is. But when it's combined with this, I will say, okay, this is, uh, it's a soulmate twin flame relationship. Okay. Which means that there is a lot of creativity, okay? There's a reason for this relationship. And that's why I think that that five of cups, you know, this is coming together too. You may have been separated. There is, you know, reconciliation with these two cars because they do have staying power, okay? It's a, it's the, keep in mind though, guys, okay? Uh, this is the F5 relationship okay it's going to be one of those that there's big lessons with this okay so there you have it
and I think that was why it was worth mentioning too that underneath here, you know, that four, the four of uh, four of wands, the strong structure, the marriage card, it sits right under here. Okay, so I'm gonna say with him coming home with the energy of that, there may have been a discussion that needed to take place. Okay. And temporarily, this is what you got, but overall, it's not how it ended up. That's why I don't think, when I pull this card, I can usually feel what it's doing, all right? I don't feel a lot of heaviness around this card. So it may have been something where someone, uh, you know, needed to be told, this person would definitely tell you something straight up. You would not <laughs> misinterpret the verbiage, okay? So that could be it too. Harsh words needed to be said, so to speak, okay? All right, your hopes and fears here, you've got the Seven of Swords, okay? That is a card of deceit, but it's also a card of moving in a different direction, just not broadcasting it to the world, okay? And like I said, you've got this card sitting here, which means basically uh, <laughs> your circle has your back, but they're also in your business, okay? And that could very easily be why that Seven of Swords is there. It's just a card of, you know, two. You know, people call it the deceit card, but what it is too sometimes, sometimes it blatantly is deceit. I mean, it, it, it really can be. But in here, you know, it's not deceit when you're, you, you know, you only tell someone half a story. You know, it's your discretion how to handle your life. That's why I don't think that this card a lot of times gets, you know, the, the good that, that it sometimes deserves. I mean, I don't think everything needs to be broadcast, especially when you're in the middle of doing something, okay? This could have been a relationship that was headed towards divorce, okay? But we all know what happens when, you know, families take sides, okay? The argument is long over, but yet the family is still duking out who, you know, who was at fault, and you're already back to normal, you know? So, that's what I think is going on here, too, okay? And I don't mean to laugh, but I think we've all been there, right? Okay. All right, your outcome card here is the Two of Wands, okay? That's why I think, too, it's bold choices. It's going in a different direction, okay? It's, it's, you're at the stage where you've got the world in your hands here. You're thinking about what to do. You're just not, it's not an action plan yet. That's why, you know, with these bold choices especially, it's, you know, it's good to keep things under wrap, and that's what I think is going on here. But I'm going to pull some clarifiers uh, anyway around this Seven of Swords because I, I the the momentum in this relationship, like I say, is that F5 tornado. Uh, it has the capacity to go from uh, you know a lovely breeze to you know relocating your house within you know a very <laughs> short period of time. So let's see what the Seven of Both Swords is about. Okay. okay. Again, this is the card that shows here. All right. This is what I'm clarifying the seven. It shows up in your hopes and fears. Okay. Your clarifiers. Okay. Are the Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Old Patterns, Getting Out From Under, things, you know, not crying over spilt milk anymore, which is what the five of cups is also. Okay. The three of coins, mind, body, soul, all going in the same direction, being willing to take criticism. Okay. Again, I think there were some harsh words that were said here. I don't think the delivery was, uh, you know, insensitive. I just think it was, it may have been hard to talk about, but you did. Okay. And you've got the 10 of swords. Okay. The end again of something you know, up here, how you thought about something. It's it's the end of things will not be that way again. So clearly something had gone on in here that was just not going to be tolerated anymore. It could be very much just, I shouldn't say just that, but, but that's, you know, that's what it is. Okay. So again, when you've got that going on, the last thing you need is everybody in your business. And again, I do, I'm confident in that. I don't feel heaviness at all around this. I think there were some you know, it wasn't lovely for sure, but, but you got your ducks in a row here. Okay. Hang on one second here. I want to see 
exactly what this queen of uh, swords is. It wasn't, it was a conversation that needed to take place, okay? She crowns your reading, remember? Queen of, Queen of Wands? I may have just said sword, I mean Queen of Wands, okay? What's clarifying her is this. The Five of Swords, the Seven of Coins, and the Six of Coins, okay? Six and seven lead you up to your eight, which is your foundation, okay? There's, it's a reconciliation here, is what it is, okay? And clearly something was not balanced here, okay? And it needed some patience, okay? And the Five of Swords, too, is, you know, maybe the relationship clearly was just, it, it clearly wasn't balanced, but now it is. And it is because you had the conversation. You had, however you worked it out, you worked it out, okay? Because, let me tell you this, if you hit the wall again and you feel that breeze picking up a little bit, you need to work through this karma, okay? Or you're going to pick it up again, okay? All right, there you go. All right, Capricorn, I hope that I've helped you in some way. If you need further clarity, I'll be more than happy to do a personal reading for you. Just reach out to me, okay? Thank you so much, and have a wonderful November.